Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some products. I know, I haven't talked about products in a while, but today specifically, I will be talking to you about the Bioderma Sensibio range. I'm gonna be sharing with you their textures, their benefits, if you should use them or not. This is not a sponsored video. Are you ready for this? Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm Elena of elenabillet.com and if you're new here, I help women achieve clear skin without diets, pills, or other dumb shit. One of the ways in which I help people get clear skin is through finding well-formulated, gentle products that won't ruin your skin and will actually support your skin. You'd think that most products would be formulated with your skin in mind. <laughs> it turns out many products on the market are total garbage. But as you know on my channel, I give you lots of tips. I focus on the how and the why of skincare and self-love. On this channel, I have already discussed the Hydrobio range and the Photoderm range, which is their sunscreens. And then I was like, what? I haven't talked about the Sensibio range, which I've tested for years now. So I have a lot to say about some of the better product and I hope that it helps you in choosing the right products for your skin condition and skin situation, wherever your skin is at. But the Sensibio range is pretty awesome in that it is all fragrance free. The products that I have chosen here to discuss with you today are products that are suitable for every single skin type. And if you wanna learn more about skin types, I really recommend you watch my skin types video. I'll link it in the cards above. Let's start with the cleansers. I'm going to compare the three different cleansers in the Sensibio range in case that helps you make a decision when you're out purchasing. So the Sensibio micellar water is a cult classic from Bioderma. It's just a really, really, really good product for removing everything, but in the gentlest way possible. However, it is marketed as a non-rinse product and many people get it wrong in terms of leaving this product on. This can cause quite a bit of irritation, sensitization. For some people, it could even cause some increased clogging if you don't properly rinse this product off. So even though it's a micellar water, it's still a cleanser, okay? That's what it does for your skin, it cleanses. This arguably is the gentlest cleanser on the market, period, like the skincare market in the world. <laughs> this one and I'd argue also this Sensibio gel cleanser. If your skin is extremely delicate and reactive, doesn't like things like fragrance or harsh, cleansers, then this is the way to go. This is a really great option to remove makeup, including mascara, okay? This will get everything off, including sunscreen, of course. Did you watch my latest sunscreen video? I hope you're wearing sunscreen 365 days a year. I feel like I have to say this in every video, but okay. This gets all of that off. It doesn't irritate the eyes. It's totally fragrance free and it feels like water. It's a really, really good option if you don't know where to start with your cleansers, with a well-formulated water-based cleanser. So this is option one. Now let's talk about option two. Option two is the Bioderma Sensibio Gel. In France, all of these are actually called the Craline range, but in North America, Canada, you will see Sensibio written there. They are identical products, just so that you know. This is an awesome, gentle cleanser that also removes eye makeup, foundation, and sunscreen without stripping your skin. It is, again, fragrance-free. If fragrance is something that bothers your skin, maybe you're prone to rosacea or eczema, this, baby, is probably an ideal cleanser for you to start. And also, I should say that these two cleansers are um, malassezia folliculitis safe. So if you're f prone to that so-called fungal acne, then again, these two can work for you. This cleanser has a really beautiful kind of light jelly texture that feels really silky on the skin and it doesn't foam or lather much, but it still is extremely thorough at removing, once again, all the impurities at the end of your day. I would use about one pump of this in the morning and maybe two, three, four pumps in the evening, depending on you know, your makeup situation, your sunscreen situation. Be thorough in the evening to get the best results. 
got this cleanser here from the same range. This is the Sensibio DS Plus Gel Cleanser. And funny enough, I wouldn't have actually reached for this. I didn't know that it existed, but I was looking for the Sensibio, this pink gel cleanser, the day when the quarantine was announced. And I didn't know if I would be able to make it to another pharmacy. I had already waited like an hour to get this cleanser and I only found this one. And so I read the ingredients on the spot. They seemed pretty awesome and I decided to try this cleanser. So I was using this cleanser for a few months. I got to see what it felt like and how it performed. Unlike the Sense Bio Gel Cleanser, the DS Plus contains sodium lorethe sulfate. You don't have to be afraid of sodium lorethe sulfate, often confused for sodium lauryl sulfate, its evil cousin. Because of sodium lauryl sulfate in the formula, the DS Plus cleanses a little bit better than the Sense Bio Gel Cleanser. So on days when you're maybe wearing something like liquid foundation, like those really high coverage ones that are very, very hard to remove, then this could probably be an option for you if that's what you're concerned with. But I would not recommend this option for rosacea prone skin or eczema prone skin because I think it could be just a little too strong. If that's what you're experiencing on your skin, then maybe opt for the pink cleanser instead, okay? The Sensa Bio Gel Cleanser. <laughs> Which would I choose out of these three, you ask? I would probably go with either one of these. It's a really hard decision, honestly. They're both very, very excellent choices. It depends on whether you are somebody who wants to use reusable cotton pads, or maybe you're too lazy and you just want the gel cleanser instead of, you know, other things in the shower maybe opt for this. It really kind of depends on your lifestyle. You could also just use this on heavier makeup days and then cleanse with this one afterwards. You can actually double cleanse, although you know I don't believe in double cleansing. You can just use more of this one or more of this one and finish with just one. You'll still be able to remove your sunscreen, your makeup, and all the things using just one of these, okay? So to recap, these cleansers are all fragrance-free and all Malassezia folliculitis safe. When in doubt, start with the gentlest option. It really comes down to your preferences. And many of you ask me for moisturizer recommendations that are not the famous Hydrobio gel cream from Bioderma that is an excellent product, but many of you are afraid of the fragrance in the product. Fragrance is a nuanced subject that I'll cover in more detail in my skincare course, but I do have an option for you guys that is fragrance free and it's the Bioderma Sense Bio Light Cream. This is a very simple moisturizer without many frills. All that it does is moisturize. It doesn't have any actives in it. Once again, it is fragrance free. It's very soothing. It doesn't clog pores. I know this is an important thing and I don't use any products for the record that clog pores. This is an excellent candidate for the third step in the three step moisture method. And for those of you who are new here and who don't know what I'm talking about, I recommend you watch my three step moisture method video because most people don't know how to moisturize and I explain in that video how you do it so that you really get amazing, amazing hydration and you end up using way less product. So in terms of moisture, you would not use more than a pea-sized amount, okay, of something like this. If your skin is on the drier side, you might wanna use a pea size and a half or two, but you don't want to glob on your moisturizer in order to get really nice and hydrated skin. So this moisturizer would work for people who have rosacea, melasma, eczema, melasthesia folliculitis even, acne, all the things. Again, this range is really well formulated and suits pretty much all the skin so-called types and conditions. Next up, we have the Bioderma Sense Bio Riche cream. So we had the light cream and now we have the Riche cream. The main difference between the light and the Riche is that the Riche contains mineral oil. Now, before you turn off this video or, you know, stone me or throw product at me or whatever, hear me out. Mineral oil is actually one of the best possible occlusives ever. Okay, and what an occlusive does is it really slows down transepidermal water loss. Since our skin is always evaporating water, that's a super useful thing to use, especially if your skin is extremely dry. So the Riche version would be an excellent occlusive, and you would only need to use like a pea-sized amount or less 
as part of the three-step moisture method or as the fourth step. And again, I explain the three and the four step moisture method in my moisture method video, so watch that for more details. People around the world have had the best results simply by making the switch to the three step moisture method from their old way of moisturizing that wasn't working. The Riche is a great option only if you have really, really dry skin. We're not talking if you have oily skin, don't use this product, this product is not for you. Okay, this is a great option if you really want to seal in more moisture. Otherwise, if you don't need it and if just the three-step moisture method is adequate for you and your skin is feeling super comfortable and plump throughout the day, ignore this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't often talk about products on my channel because I'm not a product salesperson. I don't want to peddle products on this channel. I'd rather help you guys make better choices, right? I want you to know the why of it. Why am I choosing this product? Why is this product better than the other product, right? However, I also know how difficult it is to find products when so many of them are so terribly formulated and ruin your skin. So I want you to have a few safe options to choose from. And so that's something that I aim to provide on this channel. If you need other things like say a good sunscreen, I have videos on that. Just don't forget to peruse this channel because I have tons of videos, tons of super useful videos on how you can improve your skin. And I mean truly long-term, consistently, where you can literally have clear skin. So don't forget to like this video and comment down below letting me know which cleanser you prefer. Have you tried any of these products? What are your thoughts on them? And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the little notification bell so that you are notified when I upload the latest video. Follow me on Instagram where I share daily tips, awesome articles. My highlights are so full of information that it's insane. And if you wanna learn more about how you can achieve clear skin the struggle-free way, then head over to Elena Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.